I'm out. So Wimbledon with Andrew Jarrett, Championships referee, in your final year, retiring at the, end, is, yes. uh, the end of this. Um, what are the memories when you're, you look back at your time here? Oh, I think so many. I mean, over 14 years, every every championship, I always say, is uh, is a new chapter in the uh, continuing Wimbledon saga. And so uh, we've had 14 chapters in my time here, and uh, every one in their own way has been special. But uh, but lots of great memories, really. You know, great rivalries, great players, and uh, some fantastic tennis along the way. Is there a specific uh, case that you're you're proud of in that time that you've been here? No, oh, I, I, I don't look back with sort of a, a particular pride over any one. I just think the whole thing, I'm, I'm incredibly proud and privileged to have served the championships in the role that I've had. And, uh, uh, you know, many, uh, m many marvellous times and nervous moments sitting on the side of centre court looking at uh, an unfolding drama like the rest of us uh, watching either around the court or on television. Is a, is a quiet tournament a good tournament from the referee's perspective? Uh, a good tournament from a referee's perspective is one where at the end of the championships people are talking about tennis. You, know, you don't want to be talking about uh, outrageous officiating decisions and, uh, and things that happened elsewhere. And you know, I think if that's the case, then uh, if it's quiet from that point of view, then yes, I would agree. I suppose fines make the papers or make the press because they, they're relatively few and far between. But in terms of when, when you were back in your, in your playing days, were things different then? Well, yes, I mean, uh, the code of conduct didn't exist then, uh, so that's been a major change now. And uh, so there is a, uh, a rack rate, if you like, for the various uh, fines or various offences that uh, can and occasionally do take place. So uh, uh, it's just a question for me of trying to fairly judge those and to do what's appropriate. Well, it's very traditional, but there are lots of changes at the same time. What, what in the time that you've been the referee here, what's been the biggest change that, that you've seen? Well, I think the two obvious ones are the two roofs, clearly. Uh, this you know, court one this year has been used already, despite the lack of rain, and we've seen the value of that. Uh, another big change this year was moving to 11 o'clock start from the 11.30 start, and that, again, has, I think, been very beneficial. Um, but uh, around the grounds, I mean, the, you know, the grounds have developed tremendously. The standard of the courts has improved as well, and uh, you know, the championships continues to aim to improve every year, and... Uh, I think over the 14 years has, and I would expect it to do so again next year. What's been the biggest challenge over those 14 years? I think to maintain Wimbledon's reputation for fairness, for treating the players uh, well, but treating them fairly, and uh, I've tried to maintain that uh, in my tenure as referee, and uh, I think that is a big challenge. We've obviously got a few British players that have done very well at Wimbledon. Have there been points in your career where you, you have to put all of that aside and obviously from your referee's perspective, you're just having to do what's best? A, a Tim Henman semi-final that's got rain or the same with Andy Murray more recently? I find that actually very easy. Um, I, I can very easily step aside of uh, nationalism and uh, uh, though I would never ever do Great Britain in a Davis Cup match, for example, uh, I would do every other country apart from Great Britain, I could honestly say it really wouldn't make any difference to the way I would approach the match and hopefully the fairness and the way I'd treat the players or the teams. It's Jerry Armstrong that's taking over from you. Have you passed on any tips to him that he, he needs to think about over the next few years? Oh, you know, Jerry is hugely experienced, so the, 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 the championships is going to be in very, very good hands with Jerry, and uh, uh, I'm sure we'll go from strength to strength. But uh, tips, well, not really, I think, to be his own man. Uh, you know, I followed uh, Alan Mills, and uh, Alan obviously was, he was hugely respected here at the club, and uh, I was very aware that following him was going to be difficult, and uh, I, I tried to be Andrew Jarrett, not Alan Mills, and I would expect and uh, encourage Jerry to, uh, to be Jerry Armstrong. Are you looking forward to enjoying tennis without having to think about anything? It'll, be, it'll seem a little strange coming back here and actually being able to wander around and just enjoy friends and uh, a little bit of tennis and, uh, and, and not have the challenges of the event at the same time and yes I, I will certainly enjoy that. Okay, Thank you very much, I do enjoy it. Thank you very much. Thanks.